So I've been told that lunch was a bit boring today. So I'm gonna get creative with some leftovers that we've got lying around. Guys, can you go to the fridge and the pantry and see what you can find? All the little scraps and packets. Okay. The kids have found a really great selection of stuff in the cupboard. Leftover cereal, coconut oats, sugar, honey, coconut oil. I think we can make mason jar muesli bars. This recipe is great for using up all those little bags of leftover cereal. So start the jar with a third of a cup of flour. Then add one and a third cups of oats. Put in a teaspoon of the cinnamon. All you need to do is continue to fill this jar with drier ingredients, the leftover stuff from our cupboard. And I'll get Vinny started. Oh good Vinny, you've already got started. Mm -hmm. Well done. My kids know this recipe really well. It's so easy. So Vinny's put some honey, some coconut oil, some sugar and some nut butter into this pot and slightly heated it. Maybe we could put it back on the stove for a little bit longer so it's really liquidy. Okay? Okay, that's looking really good. Oh, Olive, you're all done? Yes. Excellent. So Olive's found lots of goodies and she's put them into our jar. Rice bubbles, yes. some fruit, some nuts and muesli. You can keep this jar in your cupboard and just fill it up as you go along. So you can use literally anything that you find in your cupboard that you think might be nice in a muesli bar. Do you want to start mixing that up? And we'll get Vinny's mix and put it in the bowl. Okay, so that's all beautiful. Olive, bring the bowl over. Oh yes, yummy, yummy. So we just mix this all up until it's nicely combined. It's sticky and yummy. You can use peanut butter, almond butter, hazelnut butter, anything you want. So that's getting really good now. So now we're gonna put it into our prepared pan here so it's lined and greased. I've used a grease-proof paper. You can use our foil if you don't have that. My kids just devour these. It's actually hard to keep enough for the lunchbox. <laughs> the easiest way to get this flat is to put a little bit more grease proof on top and press it down with your hands. Do you want to do that, Vinny? That smells really good. Just be sure to push the muesli bars right into the corners and press them nice and flat so they cook evenly. The kids like chewier muesli bars, so I use a shorter, stumpier pan. But if you like your muesli bars more crunchy, push them down thinner in a longer pan. So that's ready now to go in the oven. All right, guys, here they are. Wow. Now all we need to do is let these cool overnight, sorry. And then they're gonna be ready to go in here for tomorrow for school. Why buy muesli bars when you can make them from the leftovers in your pantry? If you love food and hate waste and want more recipes like this, go to anywaste.org.au and join our free Food Smart program.